Okay, another update on our um, LS1 throttles. Um, she hasn't been run for a few days, so the engine's completely cold. Um, now what we've done is we have gone back to the original ECU. Um, you can see that's all all installed and connected again. Um, there's no additional wiring or uh, or changes that have been made. This is as it is plugged in. So let's um, grab the key and. Uh, See how it starts. Now Benny at Port Hacking Auto has worked his magic on the tune. Um, he's able to do a, a complete alpha in tune with the factory ECU. Um, it's a blended tune, still uses map, but uh, uses a TPS um, multiplier. So, there we go. Wow, look at that. First hit. Factory um, ECU. No flat spot. And I tell you what, she drives like a dream. Okay, here's the dyno sheet from um, Port Hacking Auto that uh, he printed out when he done the tune. Um, you can see the blue line was the standalone ECU, red line was the OEM ECU. You can see we've lost a tiny bit of torque, but we've picked up a bit of top end. So, possibly just weather conditions or slightly different, um, slightly different tune. But um, she maxed out at 314 kilowatts at the wheels. That's 420 horsepower exactly. Um, also note this is on a mainline dyno. They're known for being quite harsh but accurate uh, similar to a Mustang in the US would be uh, I think the equivalent they're a, a steady state retarder type dyno um, but yeah very pleasing result uh, considering this engine is very mild it's got um, a medium sized cam the heads have had a little tickle up but certainly nothing radical standard valves and everything and um, other than that it's a high mileage completely standard bottom end um, with our ITBs and it's got a cheap set of headers and that's it um, but yeah all in all very pleasing